Hey, hey, hey everyone, and welcome back to Not Your Parents Accountant. Super excited to be talking to, to be talking with you guys. Um, today we are going to be talking about uh, how to have a stress-free tax season. I know stress-free and tax season in the same sentence usually is kind of like, girl, what? But it is possible. And um, I want to talk to you about how you can how you can do that, okay? Um, the first step is to get organized. A lot of times as small business owners, you are so focused on running your business that the back office and the behind the scenes are all over the place, which in some cases tends to work for some people because it's like organized chaos, but I promise you it doesn't work as it relates to preparing your taxes. So what getting organized looks like is for one getting your accounting caught up so you want to get all your transactions recorded you want to make sure that all of your backup evidence and support is retained you want to make sure your accounts are reconciled you want to make sure that you have a clear picture of what happened in your business over the past year and honestly the best way to do that really is to be using some accounting software um it tends to be a little bit more difficult or take a lot more time hello um a little bit more difficult and take more time when you um are doing it manually so if you are using accounting software it goes by quicker um, the second step is to know your deadlines um, depending on your business entity that will determine certain deadlines and depending on what's going on in your business so if you um, hire contractors and you've paid them more than $600 for the year you need to be making sure that they're being mailed 1099s and those have to be out by uh, January 31st same thing if you have employees those w-2s need to be um, sent out by January 31st, right? Um, if you are a partnership or an S Corp, you have a different filing deadline. Your tax return has to be filed by 315. And if you are an individual or a C corporation, you have the luxury of the 415 deadline. And of course, if you are filing an extension, you have to file it by then. And that extension only takes you to October 15th. And it's important to remember that even when you file an extension, you're still required to pay your tax liability during that extension time. So while an extension will save you as far as having filed your taxes, it doesn't give you an extension on paying your taxes. So you still want to be clear as to what it is that you owe. So the third way that you can have a stress-free tax season is to review your expenses and um, possible deductions. So what you want to be looking for is to make sure that all of your expenses for the year have been captured. That's number one. You want to pay close attention to those expenses that are frequently deductible. You want to make sure that you have supporting evidence for those. And you want to make sure that you have um, your prior year's tax return that you can look at exactly <laughs> extension to file not to pay um you want to make sure that you look at your prior year's tax return in comparison to what you have going on this year because it'll help you identify certain outliers or things that you may be able to continue to deduct or save on in the current year um the fourth thing you want to do is do some tax planning okay a lot of people think that when tax season comes around, that's the only time you should be focusing on taxes. Honestly, you should be focusing on taxes throughout the year. You should have a tax strategy and a tax plan, especially if you're a business owner, because there are so many things out there that will help to minimize your tax liability. So doing tax planning assists you with what I was speaking about before, about identifying those deductible expenses, identifying tax strategies, determining how certain changes to the tax code will affect you and your family, um, determining how life changes will affect your taxes, whether you had a baby, um, whether you started or ended a business or you're buying, you bought or you sold a home, like these different things will have a certain effect on your tax situation. So you need to make sure that you are identifying these things. And a lot of times when you wait to the last minute, sometimes you forget you're rushing chaos, stress, and then your taxes aren't being maximized. Well, your tax situation isn't being maximized. And then you're giving all your money to uncle Sam, right? And we don't want that. Lastly, Hire an accountant, hire a tax professional. 
Um, I can't stress this enough. When your tax situation becomes complex, you have many moving parts, you need to hire someone who knows how to maneuver the tax code. They understand it. They know how to apply it to your situation. You want to make sure that you are able to take advantage of certain tax strategies before the end of the year because I should make a point to say that if you wait until the new year to um, do some tax planning, there are certain things that you won't be able to take advantage of because they would have needed to be implemented by 1231. And this is also the reason why we at Visionary Accounting Group, we start offering our tax season services early so that you can take advantage of it now prior to versus waiting until the new year because there will be certain things that you can't take advantage of due to timing differences. Um, also, hiring an accountant gives you that peace of mind to get through tax season without the stress. I cannot tell you how many times I've had business owners come to me at the very last minute with their finances all in disarray and we're pressed for time. So a lot of time there is no tax planning. There is no combing through their situation to see how we can maximize what's going on because they're racing against the clock. And for that reason, we have created the Tax Time Tune-Up. It is my seasonal tax service where we will get you all cleaned up, caught up. We will get you a tax plan, help you get caught up and on time <clears throat> on top of what you have going on with the IRS, whether you owe money, whether you need to be paying estimated taxes, whether you need a payment plan, you know, running from them doesn't help. They have the ability to do a lot of things that other, other government agencies aren't able to, like go after you, garnish your wages, and you don't want that. You want to make sure that you have a well and organized plan that when you get into tax season that you are sailing through. And the best way to do that is to start preparing now. With my seasonal service, the Tax Time Tune-Up, I am accepting 10 clients, 10 small business owners, and we will completely get your bookkeeping caught up. We will get you all caught up with a tax plan. We will make sure that you understand the tax um, implications that are going on with your finances, your business performance for the year, get you an accurate and timely filed tax return, and make sure that you know what you have going on tax-wise in the new year, because that's also important, right? So you want to make sure that you are covering your basis and that's what we help you with um if this sounds like something that would be beneficial to you or something that you are interested in want to know more about you can head to the link in my bio and schedule a free console we can talk about whether it would be a great fit for you if you have any questions you can always dm me um or you can head to the link bit.ly slash tax time tune up to learn more and to schedule a free call again um, having a stress-free tax season is possible. I've seen people do it and I have clients that have worked with me during the, during the tax season that's just like, man, if I would have started doing this sooner, I wouldn't be having this issue. I wouldn't be this stressed. I could have taken advantage of this or I could have maximized that. But a lot of times it's too late. So just to recap really quickly, the five things that you need in order to have a stress free tax season is to get organized, know your deadlines, review your expenses and go over possible deductions that are applicable to you. Um, do some tax planning and lastly, hire an accountant and that's where we come in and that's where the tax time tune-up is available to you. Again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to DM me. I will be back next Tuesday with another Not Your Parents Accountant video. Um, I hope this was helpful. If it is, if it was, please share it with another small business owner that would find this information useful and I will see you guys next week.